Hello, YouTubers. OK, uh, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to create a Hello World program in Visual Basic. But not just any version of Visual Basic. We're talking about Visual Basic for DOS. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, that's some classic software right there. Uh, now, you may be thinking, why bother, right? I mean, who cares about DOS these days? Uh, well, I think if you're a hardcore programmer, uh, with a sense of nostalgia, or you just like computer history, you might get a kick out of this because it'll shed some light on how certain things were done uh, before Microsoft Windows was popular. So anyway, uh, let's dive in and get started. Um, so I'm at the, at the uh, DOS prompt here. First thing I'm going to do is make a directory called hello. Then I'm going to change into that directory. Now I'm going to run Visual Basic for DOS. So it's my programs folder, uh, vbdos, vbdos.exe. OK, here we are. This is the Visual Basic for DOS environment. And as you can see, it's not a graphical user interface, but it does use a, a text user interface. This is text mode. So you can still use the mouse, as you can see here. I'm moving the mouse around, and it's got pull-down menus and all that kind of stuff, and it's got windows. And, uh, you know, this may seem kind of, uh, you know, outdated or obsolete nowadays, but back in the early 90s, you know, this was, uh, uh, this was pretty modern for the time. And, uh, you know, it functions a lot like, uh, like, a, like a modern uh, graphical user interface does. Uh, so anyway, we're in the environment. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new form. And... Um, we're going to name it Hello. Click on OK. Now it drops us into the uh, form design environment. And again, this is a lot like Visual Basic, uh, modern Visual Basic. You have all your controls here. If you want to make a checkbox or a combo box, um, you know, a label, a list box, option box, text box, whatever you want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a command button. I'll double click there. Here's our command button. Now I'm going to change the caption, and then we're going to type click me. There we go. Now we're going to double click on this uh, command button. It's going to ask us, do we want to go back to the programming environment? And yes, we do. And do we want to save our files? Yes, we do. OK, here we are back in the code. Now I'm going to select the command button, and I'm going to double click on the click event. And now we are in the click subroutine. And now, to display a little message, this is just going to be like modern Visual Basic, we're going to use the message box command. And we're going to say, hello world, with a couple of additional parameters, just like that. And that's really all we need. Now we can run the program. So we're going to click on Run. Start, and here's our program. Um, it's in black and white, but you know that doesn't really matter. And here's our command button in the middle, and when I click on it, there's our message, just like we programmed. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, we're gonna close that out. We're gonna close the program. We're back in the environment. Now I'm gonna save the project. And once again, I'm going to name it Hello. Now I'm going to compile the program so that I can run it from the command line. So we're going to click on Run, Make EXE File. And what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the button that says Make EXE and Exit. That way it'll compile the program and jump down directly to the DOS prompt. So here we go. And there we are. That was fast, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, not like the old days. Um, so here we are, we're at the DOS prompt. I'm going to display a directory. And there's our executable file, hello.exe. And when I run it, it's exactly like it was before. We've got a nice text user interface. I can move the window around. I can click on the button. There's our message. 
and everything works really nicely. So we can uh, close the program now. And that's pretty much it. The only complaint I have is that, look at the size of that executable. It's 138K. Now, nowadays, that's that's a, a paltry small amount. But back in the day when you were when we had really small hard drives, uh, an EXE of that of that size was was kind of bloated. But uh, you know, I guess it's just the way it had to be because there's so much you know there's so much code going into that executable that that supports the uh, the the user interface of Visual Basic programs. So you know. Uh, there was really no way around it. But anyway, that's how it's done. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, take care. I'll talk to you later.